Hello, 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 anyone who's in here a bit early. We're getting things set up. Time to let the Tweeple know. I love the music so far. All right. <clears throat> Time to get started. Let's see what this game has to offer. All right. I'm playing with an Xbox One controller, by the way, because this game seems like it's built for controllers. Uh, so let's just dive in, see what happens. Normal, enter the Proving Tournament, ready to learn the arts of cooking and hunting, or hard. Opponents make better dishes, monsters are tougher, and hunts are timed. We'll start on normal for our first playthrough. Hello, Supla. Monsters raged across Victusia. Victusia decimated the dwindling animal population and attacked our people on sight. Hello, Bismuth. Famine and death swept the land. No one had dared to hunt and cook monsters for centuries, fearing their cursed flesh. Ah, uh, this game is as silly as most cartoon network games. ...from the brink of extinction. Together, they built the finest culinary institution this world has ever seen. Amazing. The Battle Chef Brigade. A legion of elite soldier chefs on we the are a soldier chef. of the culinary world. Now, battle chefs across the land stand as our protectors and providers, bringing monster cuisine from hunt to table. As summer begins, so does our tournament, drawing forth the next generation of culinary warriors. <laughs> what new styles of cooking will we witness this year? What tantalizing dishes will be revealed? This year's tournament is sure to be our fiercest yet. Iron Chef Monster Hunter. I adore this already. Chapter 1. Breeze. Mm, there's six chapters, apparently. What? Welcome to the Windy Village. Windmills everywhere. Some of which don't seem to do anything. They just exist as decoration. I'm off to the market. Don't buy the blue squiggle again. It tasted spoiled last time. I'll ask the brigadiers about it. Where's Saskia? Trying to wake Mina up. She just keeps saying ten more minutes. <laughs> Mina, get down here now. Saskia, let's go. We're already late. Mina, if you don't come down this instant. I'm up. Stop yelling. I wonder if Mina's our main character. Is the restaurant on fire or something? You know it's busiest on Fridays? Finish that Karano Mabo Tofu order for table two. <sighs> All right. Like, run to the table. Ah! Open pantry with Y. Uh, we apparently... Okay. Neat. Simple enough. Uh, oh! Okay. Interesting. You add ingredients to match three. That's clever. Ingredients taste a bit off to me. A couple of things we got from the market were strange. Not sure what's going on. One bow run noodle soup. On it. Okay, more cooking. Same idea, I assume. Quick tentacle needs adding, I guess. 
And, well, if we drop it here, we don't get anything. Can we rotate? No. Well, that starts getting us something. Hook with X. Or with... Oh, okay. Cute. I like it. Thank you for subscribing, Yasmin. Resubscribing? Two months in a row. Fantastic. Dakari, thank you, thank you. Looks tasty. And I'll do my best to keep up the amazing work. Old A to serve. There we go. idea. Ah. <laughs> I suppose it was Saskia's idea the last 10 times too. You know, your father All right, little like tutorial. Fly, but we need you here. We are not going to be around forever. <sighs> ah, please. Ah, I just saw Simon outside. Go gather some fresh ingredients. He looks like he's in the mood for something off menu. I can always tell by how much he's slouching. The writing in this is kind of clever a bit. A 50 point dish you do. X to a, a to jump, X to attack, X with R. Ah! Okay, this is adorable. Actual fall. Okay, you can only have so many things. Okay, make a dish worth at least 50 points. Why for pantry? I have no... So, I don't know what makes dishes worth anything, but... Okay. So if we get a couple of these in there. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Slowly but surely, I'm starting to understand how things work. I need one more of the uh, blue looking guys. If I could get. I can't get anything else in, can I? Just this. Then what? Why to start cooking, and then we stir things around. Whoa. We made something all right. Okay, so that's not quite the same thing. That's okay. But I think that we're out here. Can I stop and add more? I can. I can add more stuff. Excellent. And to transmute into different things. Move your dish to the serving table. What? B to leave, and then I can just pick it up and end it over. Uh, that's something really weird. We made like eyeball dumplings. Hey, Mina, got a new experiment for me to try? <laughs> you bet. Only the finest. It's horrible. What? Vic. <laughs> nah, it's actually. <laughs> I like this, Simon. Don't scare me like that. Oh, Simon, it looks like we'll need some extra satchels of grain and flour. We're running through it a lot faster than expected. Mina, go over to Simon so he doesn't have to make a double trip. I really don't mind. You live so close by. Hush, I'll go. Give this money to his father when you get there. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Han. Be back in a flash. Simon, wait. Before 
we get there, I need to tell you something. What's up? I'm not going to be around for a while. Ha! <laughs> Did you get grounded for brigade training again? This isn't a joke. I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to run away from home. <laughs> Mina, I think you're way too old for that now. I'm not throwing a tantrum. Mom and Dad will never let me leave for the brigade. If I wait for their permission, I'll be stuck cooking the same recipes for the same people forever. That's not necessarily true. You could change up the menu. When I make it in, I'll get to travel the land and learn about everything in the world of food. That's more than I could ever do here. You're serious then? Dead serious. I've got what it takes and I'm not growing enough around here where everyone's happy just doing the same old stuff. I'm surprised that they've managed to work it. Like, this is a pretty classic story so far, but it's being presented well, well and they've got decent writing and decent timing and good voice acting your mom is gonna flip and the only person who scares me more than my dad is your mom couldn't you wait till the restaurant picks back up a bit it hasn't been doing so great lately plenty of new travelers will be passing through on their way to the proving tournament they'll be fine if you don't own a coin your parents haven't given you first how are you gonna Nina Han, you rogue. Now I'm going to be an accomplice. I knew I could count on you. This money is just enough to apply and a bit extra. You think you could help a neighbor out and spot me some flour? I don't like this. But how can I refuse my favorite neighbor? Wow, she's just like straight up manipulating someone that is probably uh, um, romantically interested in her. We should get going. Our parents are going to be annoyed that we're taking so long. Or maybe just... God of Barley, give me strength. Your mom is going to kill me. Or maybe just straight up her best friend. I don't know. I'm not really getting the whole, like, romance, romance vibe here. Before I go, how about one more practice, eh, hey, Kiki? Sure. Why don't we practice with wind magic one last time? All right. We should have some time before Ma. I can't believe our little Mimi is all grown up. I'm trying not to skip through the text too much. It's just so hard to wait for voice acting. All right. Magic time. Basic magic attack. Throwing daggers. Okay. Cute. Underwear and stationery with me in that dip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you better get going. And they managed to do the whole uh, sisters no thing pretty awesome. This opportunity means to me. Oh, I know. Don't screw up. And here, take this cookie jar with you. A little reminder of home. Woohoo! We have cookies. There's, there's. Interesting. There's a whole, uh, combat, uh, a whole system here of equipment for making yourself a better battle chef. 
<laughs> this game is ridiculous and great. Uh, let's see if the uh, ingredient in match three system holds up, though, once we get a little bit further in. I'm surprised at the quality of the storytelling and such, though. From what I understand, most of the Cartoon Network games don't do a lot of that. Ew. Play it on Kiki's cloak. I have to get this back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they say it's good luck for that to happen when you first come into town. Huh? That's gross. Who says that? It's a capital thing. I'm Thrash, by the way. You're looking to register for the tournament, aren't you? Is it that obvious? Oh, yes. I'm Mina. Nice to meet you. That uh, third from the front there, this dude here, kind of uh, terrifying. How do you know I was here for the tourney? That's a knife bag at your side, and you've got a panhandle sticking out of the back of your satchel. Crash is very observant. <laughs> Marking the other contestants is easy. You can sense a special aura about them, burning with excitement. Oh, good. He's one of these. <laughs> Look at me getting all worked up. Anyway, this is the back of the line. Up there with the pink-haired woman is where we register. Wow, that's a lot of contestants. And we're going to beat them all to be the very best this is like no one ever was. I hear there's somewhere around 50 hopefuls. That's so awesome. But this line, yeesh. Just walk 30 miles and I don't have the energy for this. Well, you can cut in front of me if you like. Really? You're so kind, thanks! Okay, this isn't gonna do. Time for some Mina magic! This is gonna go poorly. Huh? I'll see you around. Gotta go! <laughs> Excuse me! Pardon me! Just trying to get through! There we go! Next. Making friends already. Hey! She cut! Hi! I'm- It'll be ten gold to register. Yes, I have that. Here you go. Take this form and fill it out. Hand it to the gentleman to my right. <laughs> this entire game is so incredibly anime. Next. Mina Han. Age 21. From the Windy Village. Hey look, and we made a rifle by cutting in front of the uh um pretty boy. Title. Let's see. Well, Simon O done. The iron stomach. Ha. Ah. Is your registration number? Don't lose it. If you do, tough bricks. All right then. Oh, your orientation is at 6 a.m. and the opening ceremony is at 4 p.m. 6 a.m. I better go find a place to stay and rest up. Hmm. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> Every kid plays make believe I just never stopped. Isn't that like all of us here though? I mean that that that's part of the f joy of games. A lot of us probably played make believe early on. Kitty. Yes, yes. I I must go to the cat store. Hello. Good what do you do? Again. Room for one. How much per night? Two gold a night. And we have complimentary breakfast here. My wife cooks up a storm. Why well, like this guy? If you're here for the tournament, you can stay for the entirety of the competition for twenty. It's a steal. Well, that's all of my gold. <laughs> Although that leaves me with nothing left. And what if I get eliminated early? No, I'm not gonna get kicked out. I can do this. She's betting big on herself. I approve of this. If you need to scrounge up some change, you could always do one of the jobs available in town. Oh, yay! Odd jobs for cash. Thank you. That'll do. Enjoy your stay and break the dish. What? Oh. Let me show you to your room. We has an in-room. Wow, this is really nice. We do our best. We'll let you get settled in. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Thank you, sir. Maybe I'll just take a small nap. If you nap, you're going to be napping until morning. Blast it. <laughs> no side questing yet. You are terrible at this. What time is it? I need to get downstairs. Interesting. Huh? 
may I be of service? Sir. <laughs> like Mina very obviously, uh <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oops, sorry about that. He's intimidating. No, I wasn't looking where I was going. There's quite a few smells wafting around here of the unbathed nature. About that. I just got in yesterday myself. I'm registered for the tournament and everything. I meet. Wait a second. Oh no. Oh my. Well, if you need someone to get you up to speed, I'd be happy to help. I'm Kieran, and you are? Good yeah. job. That would be so great. We can use the practice kitchen so you're not going into things cold tomorrow. He's a very kind a person. But first, let's find you an opponent. Gee, I wonder who that'll be. Dog! <laughs> sleep and then more sleep. Hey! Not what I was gonna ask, but okay. That looks like it's probably a hello chef. We could always go with Thrash. Who are you? Uh, hello. Leonid, we went to elementary school together. Neat. How about you? How's it going? Jelly Ghost. <clears throat> what? Interesting. There's an entire kitchen coliseum. Adorable. All right, Thrash. I guess hey, it's you. Blue. Wow, you're terrible at this, Mina. <laughs> Father-in-law. Ah. Sure. I live for cooking battles. So this is going to be our friend rival. Before the opening ceremony, and you will want to miss that. Good. I see you found a partner. Poof. Let's head to the practice kitchen and get started. Let's do this. Yep. I mean, these are all pretty basic character archetypes so far, and the storyline is nothing amazing, but the like, you know, um Lucky teen runs off to make their future is pretty so standard. What exactly do I need to do to make it into the brigade? You must challenge other chefs in town to matches similar to this. Now we get to learn how to do the whole tournament Official portion. Official matches are carried out in the kitchen coliseum, overseen by Chairman Common and the judges. Contestants must earn seven wins to enter the final round. Chefs with three losses are eliminated. Right, don't suck. Well, that won't happen to us. Right, Mina? No way. We're going to make it to the final round. <clears throat> yes. As for the cooking itself, there are three things to oh. avoid if you don't want to lose points during judging. Yeah, let's avoid the losing of points. First, always incorporate the match's theme ingredient in your dishes. Right. Second, make sure to place your dishes in front of the judges within the time limit. That sounds important. Third, don't leave anything harmful to the judges in your ingredients, like poison. Poison bad. Check. There's also <laughs> a way to gain points, and that's by using ingredients that match the judges' taste preferences. All right. I think I got it. Let's do this. This is going to be tough. Very well. Provide me with a dish predominantly flavored with herb. And your theme ingredient for this round is... Karana. All right, so we need Karana and Earth. Oh, I never thought I'd get to say this, but in the words of Chairman Common, Vive la Brigade. Ah. Now that's going to be wind, isn't it? No earth in uh, Karana by default. 
So I need to find something that does have it. Oh, these tomatoes have some earth, don't they? Great. We get exactly five minutes to put our uh, dish together, it looks like. It needs to be primarily flavored with earth, huh? And tree. Oh, no, no, no. Earth is that crystal-looking one. I'm just looking at it as a, uh... Yeah, okay, so we'll have plenty of Earth. Okay, so that's three, six... One... Two... Alright, I need another tomato. And I want more of the nectar. tomato? Yeah. That'd be good? Yes. Get back here! Darn it. I'm not finding the nectar that I want. The secret ingredient is death! Horrid, horrible, horrible death. You know what? I can use the Squickle Tentacles as a good stand-in. Same with the Cheapy Breast. Because this is, uh, like, the exact ingredients are less- There we go. That's the nectar I wanted. The exact ingredients are less important than the, uh... Elements that they give from the looks of it. Alright. So- Oh, no, 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 no! No! I wasn't quite done yet. I wanted to add the, uh, nectar. Okay, so B, now I need to stir things up a bit. Alright, so the plan is to add another fire item, a sun hat tomato. And then we cancel and hit... Okay, so X, Y... Okay, so I can hit X and Y to switch between them more rapidly. That's good. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And now I can... I'm running out of time. That's okay. There. Erp. Erp. I almost know what I'm doing. I screwed up in adding my ingredients, but that's alright. Okay. So I'm kind of figuring this out as I go. A little. Um, there, there's no way for me to see the current except to kind of read it and see what's up. Alright, we're almost out of time, so we're just gonna try it and see what happens. Well done, you two. Let's see what we have here. Wonderful. Sun Hat Tomato Gaz Pacho, garnished with Cheapy Horn and Eggs Medley. Uh. Completely skipped the Karana, that hurts. Third tier Earth Gems, okay. Quality ingredients matter. Alright, so we kind of failed a bit.
We manage the earth. Cool. Yay! We actually won. Despite having no idea what we were really doing. Fantastic. That was a lot of learning. That was a lot of learning. That was good. Now we'll know a lot better what we're getting into next time. Piranha Stomach Mapo Tofu, served with Karana Nectar and Sun Hat Tomato Melange. Victory! I was hoping this would calm me down, but now I'm more excited for the tournament to start than before. Thanks, Thrash. That was a great warm-up. Mina, you're a strong competitor. Really? Mm-hmm. You're so serious while cooking. It's admirable, but don't get too tense. Tension is definitely there. <laughs> I can see your mind racing in a million directions. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing is wasted time. It's funny how I forget to do that when I'm concentrating really hard. Yeah, and then you fall over. I've never battled against chefs from all around the country before. Just think of all the different cuisines and techniques assembled here for the tournament. It's a taste of the world. Speaking of which, I think I hear some music starting up. Let's go and enjoy the opening ceremonies. Good practice. Hopefully, we'll get to a point where the gameplay comes a little more, uh... Rapid fire, and there's less um, chat and exposition between Welcome, moments. And all. So far, it's, it's been pretty decent pacing. Breathing is important for continued metabolic processes. really love the music in this, though. And the voice acting, for that matter. And then maybe go do some uh, odd jobs to... Because, you know, we're broke and we do need to eat more than just breakfast. Chapter 1 complete. Alright, so Breeze is entirely a tutorial chapter. Chapter 2, Gust. Okay, th what, they're all wind-themed? That's adorable. Adorable. Pardon. <sighs> Has the sneezies today, apparently. Uh, here we go. Attention! Ah! Rise and shine, soldier! <laughs> Instructor Razzle! <laughs> you need an alarm clock, Mina. Mina Han, are you not feeling Your fellow contestants have all gotten at least one match under their belt. Oh my god, you need like three alarm clocks. Hurts. Falling behind already? <laughs> you need to get moving, cadet. I like Razzle. Wait, where do I even start? Really? Uh My dear, if you had just woken up in time, you would have caught the briefing. Seven alarm clocks. I'm so sorry, instructor. <laughs> There's no more time to lose. Get dressed and go warm up with Thorn at the Hunter's Guild. Y yes ma'am! Alright, complete a job at Belkir's Workshop, complete a job at the Hunter's Guild, and complete a job at the Crescent Restaurant. Greetings. Good afternoon? Oh, wow. Handling poisonous foods. That sounds useful. It's kind of fun talking to all of the, uh, uh, townsfolk. <laughs> Nina needs to replace her wall decorations and, um, bed frame with solid alarm clocks. This is not going to be your friend, huh? Kitty! Puzzle. Pecorino, shoo, shoo! Stop eating my experiment. Welcome to. Is this a pet store? Cattopia. Settle down, miss, and have some tea. Bree, Fontina, get out of there. I'm Mina, by the way. Job. 
Gastronomy wizard. I like this guy. Wow, that's some title. What do you do here exactly? I don't know if the meowing I'm hearing is coming from the game or from the room full of cats that's across the hall. Well, my lady, I'm in the process of creating a super flavor enhancer. But I think it's coming from the game. It'll accentuate the consumer's favorite flavors, so it'll be universally delicious. I'm calling it Ambrosia. I want some of this Ambrosia. How are you going to make this happen? My experiment requires me to extract the essence of a hundred different dishes, but the progress is slow. I'm looking for assistance, but you'd be surprised <laughs> how many people in town are allergic to cats. Oh, that's fantastic. That sounds interesting to me. Is it a paid job? Of course. I'm a professional. The brigade funds all my research. So, how can I help? Most of my recipes are almost complete. I just need a hand finishing them up. Would you be so kind? That sounds like it's going to be great for us. Oh, this is puzzle puzzle time. Okay. So, uh... What do I need to do? Just make the most out of this? I guess? Um... Uh, I mean... This isn't... Th this game, as far as puzzles go, is an odd choice. Uh, hang on. All right, so that is basically just looking to maximize the uh, level of everything in there. That's doable. I like. Fire is going to be a touch more complicated. Oh, did the water first. That's okay. Okay, neat. Well done. You're a natural. Stop by any time you have a free moment. I kind of like this version of Match 3. Looks like Pecorino has taken a liking to you, and I'm sure he'd appreciate you visiting. And it looks like the uh the scoring is just based on level of the stuff. So, like cooking things together is always going to be better. Hello. Welcome to our store. Make yourself at home. <laughs> uh, multiple personality, two-headed uh, cyclops. I like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. Louis and Lewis. <laughs> Many two-headed cyclopses. Ah. <laughs> uh... Fantastic. We've got all the key Oh, but I wanna can I not buy I guess I can't shop yet. But hey, we made some money. We have more than zero. Which is good. Hmm. Looks kinda creepy in Hunter's Haven. Anyway, this is where I'm supposed to be, so let's hunt. Good afternoon. I was told to report here for warm ups. Yeah. Eight hours ago. Are you Thorn? Maybe I was too suffocating for her. Uh Pardon? I mean, is 20 messenger doves one too many? Um, it's probably about 19 too many. Maybe it was the Manticore trophy I sent. I think that she's lamenting uh, a breakup. I'm sorry, but are you the one in charge here? Oh, oh, yeah. You're another tournament baby, aren't you? <laughs> oh, little baby. Give me a second to strap up my boots and we'll head to the arena and see what you're worth. <laughs> wow. Sh sure. This is amazing. I love everything about this game. Physical and magical attacks. Yep. Got a date with a bottle of wine in half an hour. 
Physical attacks use X, magic use Y, panic attacks use alcohol. <laughs> Uh, uppercut. Can do. Stomp something. Can do. Dodge. Yeah. Dodge with B. I did not know dodge was an option before now. Ow. <laughs> uh. Just changed for my grocery shopping. Uh, hello, Cooper. Doing pretty good. How are you? Today you have your gold. I always have more challenges on the bounty board, so come back later. Oh yes, I'll do challenges for gold. Not many do. Oh. Most people are all about the coin, not about the hunt. Um. Well, thank you for the instruction today. I'll put it to good use. I like the idea of bounty board. What's up? The little blue jay. Nice. Orin gives me the spooks. Yeah. You almost got your hand chopped off for touching a trophy. Wow, and she sent a manticore tro trophy to someone. She must really like them. Oh, there's the restaurant. Hi. You again. Creepy. Uh... You're interrupting a special moment between Shiv and, uh, their falcon. Shiv is, like, super andro. That's great. Alright, I'm gonna take a brief restroom break and then we're gonna do the restaurant job. I, when nature calls, I go, Cooper. Sometimes that's uh, a convenient time, sometimes it's not. Anyway, uh, into the restaurant we go. Ching, 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 ching. So a brief restaurant break. Uh, maybe. My family owns a restaurant back home, so I've got some experience. I've never worked anywhere else, though. <laughs> Too many things on my desk. We'll get you into the swing of things here. 
Beat the tournament happening. I'm swamped with customers from out of town. I'm also a bit short-stepped, since two of my sous chefs are off trying to earn their things for the brigade. I'll do my best. I mean, that's me. A uh, sous chef off trying to learn wings for the earn wings for the grade. The customers' time and hunger. Not everyone has the time or coin for an exquisite meal cooked by a real battleship. That's where you come in, recruit. Cook basic dishes here. Okay. The goal a line order cook is to fill customers' orders as quickly as possible. For each order, all that matters is that the requested taste gem pattern is somewhere in the dish. Somewhere. Okay. Our pans here don't even get hot enough to upgrade taste gems, so don't make any big plans for grandiose dishes. Ah. Uh, here, try this on for size. Okay. Interesting. Next cook. Uh, oomp. 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 I'm doing it wrong. This is really inconvenient. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, thank <laughs> Make the pattern. Extra taste gems don't matter. Okay. So. Still, like, learning to control the game as we go, too. It's all about speed. Surprisingly good. Delicious. Yeah, Thanks. yeah, I can, I can get into this. So we need the blue and the earth. There we go. We need the blue and the earth again. Uh, that one took way too many spins. I've ruined everything, haven't I? Uh... Uh... I'm not as good with rotation as I need to be to play this game. There. <laughs> Yeesh! Ah, that was terrible. Okay, um... So, to split two up... Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's, so, there's certain patterns of rotation that I feel like I'm going to need to get better at to play this game well. And I don't know what... I, I, I feel like I need a way to practice them. Well done, recruit. You've managed to exceed my expectation. Yay! Well, I hope you'll return. Yes, we'll return. We exceeded expectations. That is a good thing. Yay, now we can buy a thing at the shop. Ethereal fire pot. What, wait. Um. So we need to decide what type to focus on sometimes, I guess. Interesting. What are these? Just basic ingredients? Interesting. Buy a kitty. <laughs> I'll see if I can buy a kitty, but I don't think I can buy a kitty. No. No, there's no kitties to buy. There's just pots. And basic ingredients. Which, I guess, lets you speed things up a bit. Uh, only matches red gems, only matches green gems, only matches blue gems, but match plus something. You know what? Let's, uh... Just buy a couple of, uh, fancy pots as a start. And then hit Y for our... Oops. Y for our loadout. Yeah, okay. Plus match three. Oh, match two, but match is blue. Now I understand. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Challenge another chef! I could challenge Thrash, but 
I don't want to knock him out of the tournament. How about we challenge Creepy Hawk Dude? Hmm. Wrong buttons. Still used to the switch. You want to duel me? <laughs> Do you think this tournament is just a game? <laughs> ouch. Ouch. We deserved that, but ouch. Tardiness is a talent of yours. Hmm. Oh, we're in the actual Coliseum this time. Not just uh, off in the practice area. I hope that I be I can get a uh, pet later on because I've noticed that there's been a couple of other chefs that have had pets that help out. So if I can, I am going to get us a kitty, and we're probably going to name it Apollo. Welcome, citizens and esteemed guests, to the inaugural day of this year's proving tournament. It is my great honor to preside over what will assuredly be a pulse-pounding centennial. This guy is very clearly a. Uh, um, Modeled after the chairman from Iron Chef. The contestants before you have traveled from across Victusia to showcase their skills in the illustrious Kitchen Coliseum. Only an elite few will rise from the ranks and emerge as brigadiers. Let's hear it for their bravery. Mina Han loves dreaming up adventurous new dishes at her family restaurant. Hailed in her town as the Iron Stomach, she's sure to serve up intriguing creations. That doesn't seem like a good title for a chef to have. My stomach's definitely not made of iron right now. More paper mache. <laughs> this competitor is said to be a descendant of Grand Matriarch Kill, and is known for her unorthodox ingredients. Shiv Zaya. The acid tongue. <laughs> You're not even worth it. Ouch. No Alton Brown? Because Alton Brown took over for, like, the original Iron Chef uh, had, didn't have Alton Brown. Shiv. And besides, wasn't Alton Brown, didn't he become, like, the color guy, not the intro guy? I don't know, it's been a long time since I've watched Iron Chef. Honor and a privilege to sit at the judge's platform for the centennial. Ah, there's nothing like a dish with plenty of fire to invigorate the senses. People of Victusia, I struggled with the choice for today's theme ingredient for weeks before it came to me during meditation. Simplicity. Okay. One of King Heinrich's favorite monsters to hunt and eat charging across the plains and forests in dangerous herds. Bowron! Nice. Announcer, narrator, whatever you got, call the guys who talk while people do game things. Well, there's two types of, uh, that, there's two types. There's the color guy who is there to, like, interject entertaining bits, and then there's the, I think, the announcer who basically calls the play-by-play. -play. Chefs? But there's usually two. The judges platform within the time limit. Grace this kitchen with the Viv All right. So I'm thinking we want lots of fire and those ribs. Unfortunately, I've got and I've got a fire pot that's going to do great things for me. We got 5 minutes. Step 1, find a Bauron. There we go. Ribs. Oh, these tomatoes have a lot of fire if I remember right. You're all earth and water. Same with you. Oop, here we are. Take another tomato. Hey, give me that back. Thank you. You. Down, boy. Treasure box? Oh. Interesting. Anyway. Positive ingredients. Go get some more. Another bower on the uh, bit would be good. Oops.
these have earth and water. Oops, no, I don't want to drop that one. Well, let's go see what we have to work with here. Start cooking, see what we can do. Um, really, we just need uh, Balrun and... Ooh, Balrun gives fire and... Great. This is going to work out perfectly. We can probably finish it in another pan. Oh, oh, that's as high as it goes. Interesting. Okay. So, can I pick up and move? Yes, I can! Ah, ha, 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 ha. This is where we get things going and make it fun. Oh, it's impressive. You're impressed. I can tell. Entry. We nope. There we go. We have got a little bit more fire to add. Now I'm starting to get the idea of how this all uh, functions. Um, no, let's go get more Balrun or something. Water, water. That'll do. That'll finish us off. What the heck are you? Uh, or Earth. Not what I'm after. Alright, so if we do some... If we stir in... Another one of you, we can get rid of that. And then... Uh, what else do I need to add? I need to add another earth. Oh, I can't do that at the moment without stirring some first. So stir, stir, switch, add, add, uh, stir. Oh, crud, crud, no, no. I thought I'd get a 30 second warning too. I didn't deliver it on time. Oh well, it's super fiery. That'll help me out. Versket Chole Kebab, garnished with King Bean and Balrun Steak Melange. Expertly crafted. Ouch. Okay, so we managed to pull it out by including so much fire. If we delivered on on time, we would have had an amazing, uh, win. But as we go, we, er we learn more. I get better. 
I can definitely see myself playing through this game a second time. This tournament is becoming a joke. The dishes you put up would never have passed the standards of our ancestors. Dude, you lost. Bless, it's customary in my culture to give the victor a token. Here. We use it to protect toddlers from getting burned when they first start cooking. Oh my god. Very cold to the touch. Daggers, slow enemies. Cool. So when I beat someone, I get... I, maybe I get something every time? That would be cool. Fun way to uh, gather more equipment that way. Alright, do things open up now? When done with jobs and shopping, go to bed. Okay. Still don't have any cooking stuff, just cookware. Water, fire, and earth seem to be the only things at the moment. I like the extra satchel slot. Um, the health plus two is probably less important to me than the frost bracelet. Yeah. Hey there, Blue. <clears throat> oh, yep. I can't do anything else today, can I? I've done all of the things. Maybe uh, in subsequent days it'll let me do more or open it up and let me do things in the order that I choose. I am exhausted. Try not to oversleep this time. This was only my first match. I'm gonna have to pace myself here. I haven't even realized till now that I'm hungry. I cooked all day and didn't eat anything for myself. <sighs> I'll eat a big breakfast tomorrow to make up for it. Great, we're gonna accidentally starve Mina to death at this rate. Look at her go. It's like a trash compactor. Hey, Ziggy, that's just not where it's accurate. <laughs> we're just admiring your appetite. You're like me. I could eat a whole food truck and still be a stick. Mmm, food trucks. Food trucks are delicious. What's a food truck? You're Mina Han, aren't you? I heard about the Iron Stomach at the opening ceremony. Oh, wow. No one in my village actually calls me that. They're just my friend. Ah. <laughs> Alarm clock, you an element that has a radioactive decay that sounds like ticking. Well, it's not the ticking that she needs, it's the ringing at the appropriate time. To play everyone up. <laughs> Nothing special. <laughs> hey, now, don't say that. Having a stomach made of iron is pretty incredible. Mine's made of paper. Ah. Plus, you're here, and only the best of the best are in Capital City. We'll see. Either way, I'm really excited for the opportunity. Had a go? Well, if you'll excuse mm, me, sausage and jammy toast. To dig up. What? See ya. Oh, here. Catch. Huh. A metal trinket of some sort. Thanks, Ziggy. What Weirdo. A strange guy. Did he say he was going to dig up graves? I got a bottle cap. One health, one mana. Okay. Weirdo. Uh, so let's uh, replace Orion's pebble with the bottle cap. Give us a bo bonus to both. How are you doing? Take a look at the... What is this? Care package from your family. That's adorable. I should... Uh, um, go send our... Yeah, if we don't write, then uh, Iki might kill us. I keep screwing up X, Y, A, and B because I've been playing the Switch so much lately. Interesting. Nope, can't write. Oh well. I'm going to assume it's happening in the background. How may I be of service? Yay, breakfast. Breakfast good. Growing boy like you. <laughs> Cesar is still uh grumpy. Okay. Ooh, have we here? Due to the uh umbrella cat, apparently. Greetings. Belchior is, has a place full of cats and books. Yes, you can trust me with a secret. 
You could like to pet the cats. The books are just a bonus. Boy, that sounds like the uh, game shop near our house, doesn't it? There are a used bookstore and game shop that has a bunch of, has some uh, cats that live there. Quick, quick! There's so much to do. Swiss, stop biting my toes. Belchior, I was wondering something. I couldn't stop thinking about it over breakfast. What's that? This seems like an awful lot of work for just one batch of formula, even if it's the ultimate. Will you have to make all these recipes and extract their essences every time? Ha! Ah, that's a good question, my astute assistant. If I'm successful, the brigade will assist me in reproducing ambrosia more efficiently. Then chefs from all around can have a bottle to spray my flavor magnifier on anything. I definitely want some of this ambrosia. This won't be a shortcut to proper cooking, though, will it? Never. Like any seasoning, it can be used properly, but it can also be used poorly. But enough chatter. Let's get to work! Yes. Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, all right. Goal, 82 or higher. Goal hit! Fantastic. Ooh, bony ingredients. Great. Line up three bones and they turn into a delicious rainbow gem. I like the sound of that. Oh, and then the rainbow gem can match with anything. Fantastic. That makes sense. Bones are very important to uh, good cooking. So then the p question becomes, what happens if we line up four? Okay, it only does three at a time. Let's act as wild cards. Goal is 60. Um, oh, I see an option here. Good. The wild cards don't match with themselves. Okay. Working with bones is going to be a major portion of the game, I'm assuming. Nice. Starting to understand the rotations and such a bit better. I might need you for cat sitter duties at some point. These fur balls are getting unwieldy. Nice. What do you got in your shop today? Um uh, Well, I do want that ethereal earth pot. Stun enemies when bouncing on them. Daggers stun targets. First one's tricky, second one's easy. Or dodging past enemies does damage. Ooh, I like the sound of that. But these are going to have to wait because uh, that fire pot is much more important to me. Uh, should we go on a hunt? Yeah. What do you have to say today? Hi. Greetings. <laughs> don't don't get involved in an argument between uh brothers the cooking is a interesting take on match three and yeah the gathering is a 2d action platformer i'm just 
kidding. I should really pack up and go somewhere, though. Maybe the caverns, deep in the mountains, where I can be warm, yet never have to see the outside world again. Jeez, what's with all the doom and gloom? And I thought I was hard on myself. What would a youngster like you know? Well, not much. That's why I'm asking. Some backstab move, okay? Oh, neat. Got you. Hunt monsters. Okay. Give me more monsters to hunt. I like it. I like it a lot. A homesick drow. Yeah, that's one way to look at it, wandering disciple. Girl, you wouldn't happen to be versed in remedy foods, would you? I can learn. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, instructor. That sounds like something Kieran would know. She's usually around Belkir's workshop. The cat geezer, hmm? I'm looking for headache relief, not a headache giver. <laughs> uh -huh. Cute. So it looks like we can do one of each of these per day. And and a practice and a bout. That's what I'm betting. You who are you? Greetings. Leonid. <laughs> Yes, you have. Um. Maybe he likes rock candy. All right, let's uh put in a turn at the restaurant. Recruit. Most of my guests don't have a lot of time to chat, but in addition to your wages. I'm happy to share my... Yes, ma'am. Just remember that if you take too long to serve... Do not keep them waiting. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, I'm terrible at this. Ah, uh, ha, ha. It's bad. Delightful. Thank you. Alright, we need fire next to earth. We need... Oh, that's complicated. Okay, um... Hang on. Um, I can do this. There we go. And, like, um, maybe? Uh, earth? No, we need a fire down there. We need an earth, and then we need another fire, like that. Yay! Excellent. Thanks. Uh, we need fire water. Fire, fire in the middle. Okay. Like that. Water on the sides, and fire in the middle. Uh, we just need to put the fo these four together. That's not so hard. Is it? Oh god, it is it, it is so hard. There we go. Fire, fire, water, water. Okay. I can do this, I swear. I don't know if I can do this. Uh. God, I'm bad at rotating. <laughs> Some of them are easy. Some of them, less so. Alright. Oh, this is a complex one. Okay. Mm. Um, we need an earth down in the corner. There we go. Now we need to get the two earth and the two water together in the proper order. Good enough. 
Uh, we missed one. We could have done a little better. A woman came in today spreading strange rumors of a Karana with an evil aura. Evil Karana. Claimed it snuck into her house and tried to eat her dog. Yikes. I've never heard of a Karana doing that before. Okay, interesting. All right, another brief break. Be right back. Ah, all right. Take a brief moment for a bit of a shill here. If you're enjoying the look of the game, if it's something that you think that you might want to play, if you scroll down, you should be able to click on the game. And uh, there's supposed to be a way for you to buy it right from my Twitch page. But I'm not seeing it, so maybe I didn't set that up properly. Anyway, ignore me. <laughs> Let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, Public had at least stopped in earlier. Not sure if still watching. Oh well, whatever. There's a way to uh, support the uh, Twitch streamer you're watching by buying the game through a link on their screen. And I thought that I had that set up, but I can't find it. So, oh well. Nope, I, uh, nope, I needed Y. There we go. So we can replace our doll pan with an ethereal earth pot. And now we've got three bits of uh, custom stuff. Time to practice. Except I keep hitting the wrong buttons. X is on the left, not the right. Welcome to the practice kitchen, cadet. Have you been here before? Yes. I fit in a quick practice match with Kieran and Thrash before the opening ceremony. A wise decision. Well then, you know that you're free to use this kitchen as long as you like. Okay, that's cool. Practicing isn't a requirement, but if you're ever unsure of a new tool you've acquired or new tastes you've discovered, consider coming here before challenging someone. Neat. Makes sense to me. Good. I'm off to check in on the others. Best yeah, I definitely want to try a few things out. For example, Karana only seemed to drop these, uh, stomachs if you kill them before you feed them. But, it's probably possible to grab a bit of Karana and take it to another one. Can I feed you a stomach? Ow, ow. Try not to die. Maybe I can't. No way to swap between what's currently your drop item. And that's the closest to a double jump you get. King Bean. This I want to see. Okay, so that um, Earth 2 means it is a level 2 Earth. Neat. These guys only ever drop... Oh, nope, they can also drop the nectar.
<laughs> the Barun Stakes now have bone in them, which when they didn't before. These are worth water too, but to get them, I think we need to... Fi oh, there we go. Feed one of the birds to a... Uh, that guy, and then you can get a wing. <laughs> a wing is worth two fire, two water. Interesting. I apparently need some water. Give me just a moment. That's better. So far, the specific ingredients you use don't seem to make that much of a difference. Okay. When you eat a thing, you pop out a double water egg. A double two water egg. What? Oh, jeez. What have I gotten myself into here? Ooh. Ow. There. Yeah, keep you slowed down. Right. Kill the big things, get really awesome ingredients. That's neat. Dragon heart. Dragon steak and dragon shank. Very interesting. Yeah. We're gonna have to do a lot better than we did last time to be able to make our next uh, dish win. <laughs> I have fun just killing things. So if we were to use our fire pot and start dropping in all of the dragon goodies that we got. Alright, so the initial ingredient does matter some, but not as much as it could. Awesome. Oh, crud. I can't match bones when I've got these, th uh, um, these three. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Okay, tap A to pick up, then move. Yay! We added one to another. Sweet. So we can start cooking one thing in one dish, and then finish it in another, and add things along the way. Interesting. Yeah, the bones will be in the way. That's my worry. Not that, like, we don't need them. Right, because now we're running into a problem where the uh, dish is so filled that there's very little we can add. See? Yeah. Okay, still, good to know the practice kitchen is available. And it does look like you can only do one challenge and one job at each shop per day. 
Well, I don't want to contribute to knocking Thrash out of the competition. So let's uh, do... I don't know. Leonid, Kieran, or uh, Caesar. BPX. There we go. I'm gonna go with Caesar, I think. Come on, old. No. Oh. Alright then. I guess we do him later. Lean it then. Rumored to be this year's front runner. Uh crap. <laughs> Still, let's, uh, let's try it. Hmm, wait, no. I have to have... Here, let's guess that the, um, fire lever won't be there this time. And that we'll have a earth or a water lever. Because we want to remove the bones from the dish before we serve it. I mean, it said, make sure you don't leave in inedible things like poison. I bet that includes bone. But who knows? Maybe having, like, a bit of bone in there is good. Anyway, if we head to the all the way to the left, that's where we would find the big nasties. So we start with killing that and see what we can make out of it, right? I woke this morning reminded of a quote from the legendary chef Robichon. An ingredient is only as extraordinary as the chef who wields it. When I look at our contestants, I see the precision of their blades and the richness of 10,000 flavors <laughs> boiling in their hearts. Ah, uh, this is definitely up there with the whole uh, overly flowy uh, doesn't even begin to cut it. language to that the chairman the uses. They have in store for our judge today. Yeah, it might not be a negative. We need to avoid having a lot of bones, I bet. The iron stomach is ready to claim another win. Mina. The uh, RPG-like progression of it all, I kind of enjoy. Our next contestant is a man who's as altruistic as he is intelligent. Leonid, the gift bringer. Artifice aside, I'm excited to test your skill. Hey, this guy's like polite. That's great. That judge is headmistress of the prestigious Horus Academia. Please welcome Instructor Meridane. You've no need to flatter me so. We'll soon discover just how competent these chefs truly are. Water is mercurial by nature. I guess correctly. A chef that truly masters its flavor becomes as adaptive as the energy itself. Great. Lots of water things out there. We look to a beast that has a heart. Every hunt. Dragon! Oh, we have to use dragon. Okay. Great. Vive la brigade! So let's go take out the dragon first, and we'll gather um, some nectar along the way if we can. sauce can we do there's a watery sauce yeah i'll take that and deposit these go take out the dragon leave three room three ingredients room for the dragon great Ah! 
Ow, ow, ow. Almost. Got him. Down he goes. Great. Dragon Steak, Dragon Heart, and Dragon Shank. Uh, should we... Worry about it. It looks like the Dragon Heart has a bit of water to it, naturally. And no bone to uh, contend with. So that might be our go-to for this dish. Alright, let's get started. We are going to add in our Dragon Heart. Right there, our watery sauce to the left. Uh, oh. Okay then, you need uh, something in there before you add in the water, so watery sauce. Oh, the nectar, uh, the uh, egg is better. Nice, good to know. All right, let this all cook down. We'll end up with a whole bunch of level three water gems out of it. We need more ingredients, don't we? Yeah. Yes. Eat. Give me egg. Trying to keep a careful eye on the time. We've got a minute and change left. Sixty seconds remaining. Come on, eat that thing. Give me another egg. Here, how about you guys? Do you drop, uh, watery stuff? Yeah. Let's take this and add it in. Just so it's not all eggs and nectar, you know? Alright. Pantry. Time's running out. We need to... We're gonna get this in here. We need to go fast. Call it good. <laughs> Thank you for your hard work. Chef. All right, let's see if we uh, went see overboard. Has to say about your efforts. Oh my God! Look at that one that uh, he put out there. Exceptional. Rusted Armorock chops garnish with watery sauce and Barun steak assortment. You didn't use the dragon. Highly watery. Oh, maybe he did then. Lovely. Dragon heart dumplings with a side of watery sauce and egg assortment. Sounds delicious. Top marks in every category, a truly remarkable dish. All right, we're really starting to get the hang of this. We... The iron stomach clenches another hard-fought victory. Minaha wins! Great, so for single element dishes, we're in good shape. But we're going to have to serve multiple judges in the future. And then it's going to get more complicated. I'm honored we have this match, Miss Han. You will make a great battle chef someday. 
Please, take this as a sign of my faith in you. Mm, don't know what you're talking about. We handed it in at perfect time. Thanks for being so nice, Leonid. I'm sure you're going to get in the brigade, too. Just wait until we have to deal with three judges at once. Ooh, X3 rainbow ingredients? That sounds awesome. Gotta find out what that means. Check our loadout as soon as we have control again. Oh, I was 50 points up. Oh yeah, look, it's a cooking item. So, yeah. Uh, oops, B, B. You're just going to tell me the same thing you did before? Yeah, you are. Okay. Done all of the jobs. I guess I can't use the practice kitchen yet. Oh, I guess I can't do anything except go to bed. Yep. One of each job and one battle per day. Okay. I can handle that. I should really study more recipes right now. I'll just take a quick nap first. We're going to find out, Yasmin. Quick nap until tomorrow afternoon. Sigh. Off to the inn we go. Hey, what you reading? Oh, I'm just perusing the new expertise tome I bought from Louie and Louie. I like the sound of that. Expertise? Yes, it's the study of a particular esoteric cooking style or technique. Oh, crap. You should really take a look into some. Judges award bonuses for demonstrating the use of expertises. Oh, crap. Here. You can have one of mine. I've got the contents of that tome committed to memory. Layers and layers and layers. Apprentice expertise, butcher. Serving a dish containing all the ingredient types from your matches theme ingredient. Okay. Interesting. You're welcome. If you don't mind, though, I have to get back to studying. Let's check our loadout. Oh, that's a cooking item. Well, I think we know now that the cooking items are not, uh... Um, used up. Curious. Three branches of the brigade are research, military, and ambassador. Oh, may I be of service? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tell me, girl, what an old dwarf smoking his pipe at a stay well makes you want bother him. Ah. Granite to garnets. Good luck and see ya, but not so frivolous. Okay. Yeah, I like the way the layers are building up. I'm looking forward to where we go from where it ends up, you know? Alright, let's see what you've got for me. Oh. One level three gr Wow. These are just like, give me a... <sighs> Help me win. Whirlwind lasts longer, does moves around more, and does more damage. This is a combat item. Cooking item. Okay, neat. Apprentice expertise, explorer. Serve a dish containing at least one ingredient per monster in the region. Or serve a dish that contains the same ingredient five times. That sounds like it's up my alley. But that's going to cost more money. Hey there. Being hungry for monster flesh. <laughs> Your sword talks. Huh? Ziggy's a weird one. <laughs> yeah, that that was actually kind of cute. Um, let's see. You again. Ouch. Restaurant first. Mina Han, reporting for duty. Vita, I've got a new tail ready for you. Yes, chef. Okay, let's do better this time. We can do better. I know we can. Oops. Uh, need earth. Ooh, need my two waters differently. Here we go. Water and fire, like so. Uh... 
It's hard for me to talk while I'm doing this. I need to get rid of that water, and then I need to swap you there. Thank you. Half of this is like instinct at this point. Just because I'm trying to move so fast. Speed, speed, speed. I can't wait. Mm. A water over there, and I need an earth underneath it. Then I need the two water on the bottom and two earth. There we go. Thanks. Sometimes the answer's right there, sometimes it's a little more complicated. Oh, I like this. Uh need the earth in there. I need it in the right order though. There we go. Oh, this is a hard one. Didn't have time to do that one. That's okay. Then what happened? He pointed to the scar on his arm and revealed that it wasn't the mark of a monster, but an enraged opponent. Whoa, just because they lost the match? Mm -hmm. There's no honor in such an act. Whoops, it's later than I realized. I've got to get going. I'll see you tomorrow, Pontita. So the time attack seems like it might have the most money available. The hunt is uh, mostly storyline, it seems. Oatsy is missing, and he's very crafty. Who's Oatsy? Not to mention Dudley. Who's Oatsy? Ah! Oh, the snake. Well, now we may begin. Yay! Always in tune with the ecosystem. Both nurture it and benefit from it. Oh, like the eggs things. Okay. Gather an ingredient from the squid hole. Drop the ingredient at my feet. Okay. Wait for a cheap chi to arrive. They can be turned into sauce with an attack. Okay. Grab the egg. <laughs> Gather more eggs so that she can breakfast. Sure. I do want to see about this attack the egg into sauce, though. Um. It's a resilient egg! we'll ever get on Thorn's good side. Puzzle time! Hi. What's the issue? Oh, getting the essences out of dishes is getting more complicated the further down my list I go. Well, let's try our best. Fancy sauce as much before, have you? No! No, I haven't. Saucing a dish just changes the flavor of the topmost taste gems it lands on. Ooh. Interesting. That's super useful. 
So if I add the watery sauce, that'll change those two to water. Cool. I'm gonna have to learn how to use that. Like, that's gonna be rough, actually. So what do I got in the pantry? I've got some earthen sauce and some eggs. Oh, eggs count as a sauce. Whoops. How do I reset? Hold the left button. Okay. So... Let me think about, th let me think this through a bit. Got an earthen sauce, which we can use to change two items. But we don't, we actually want to stuff the earth to the side, don't we? Yeah. Getting more and more complicated. Let's drop the eggs. Gives me one level three. Now, I hit the rotatey thingy again. Then I drop the earthen sauce. Oh, that changes things. Not a lot, though. That's fine. Do not praise in order to inspire. Maybe, Wandering Disciple. Maybe. Oh, goody. So you've got a fire and you've got a fire and a water. Uh, okay. There we go. Sauces are interesting. That's definitely going to change the way we play. A dish that contains the same ingredient times five. I mean, using two expertise items seems like a good good plan. The Griffin Tantalans adds a ton of bone to it. Times five bone ingredients. Does that mean like the pricing? I don't know. I'm not sure what to invest our money into, because, like, I don't want to give up the satchel. Being able to carry a sixth thing is really nice. The slow daggers are super useful. Uh, the bottle cap we can replace. That I don't mind replacing. That's kind of meh. So, two daggers at once. Better whirlwind. Stun's enemy when bouncing on them. Daggers stun targets. Dodging past enemies does damage. Two daggers sounds good. And then a cooking item. Well, we had a... Let's guess that we're going to get a green... A uh, earth person. Let's see if these are used up when we buy them. Uh, when we use them, you know? Alright, um... 
Challenge who? We couldn't challenge the dwarf yet. We challenge you yet? Oops. Hey! That's not nice. Ah, <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Let us begin. What, Thorn? She's an instructor, not a uh, competitor. Alright, I should really uh, take a quick trip to the bathroom so I can think straight during this. I'll let the intro play. It's another glorious day in the Kitchen Coliseum, and our contestants are becoming more skillful with each dish they prepare. Oh, okie dokie. It's where it's like every half Much hour like the fire in our right now. Hearts, the spirit of this tournament burns ever brighter. This small town chef has become something of a crowd favorite. Please welcome the Iron Stomach, <laughs> Mina. Kieran has studied medicinal gastronomy since childhood. Her unwavering attention to detail earned her the title, the decisive blade from her instructors. An interesting matchup indeed. Kieran. She does seem like she might be a little out of our league. Oh crap, there's two of them. Is the famed Grand Matriarch Asgil. With each challenge that passes, these chefs reveal more of themselves through their creations. I look forward to learning more today. We gotta cook for two? Some chefs mistake Earth for the most simplistic energy. But its purity belies subtle complexities. Bring me a dish that harnesses its potential. Today we welcome back Ambassador Akebo to the judges' platform. Ah, what a fine day for a match. I'm anxious to taste today's dishes. At the annual fire festival, local food stands make spicy kebabs that are out of this world. I'd like to see the contestants. All right. So yeah, one person wants In earth, one person wants I fire. I refuse to eat this beast's meat out of fear its curse would pass to me. Oh. Like our ancestors, I fear what I didn't understand. New ingredient to work with? Luckily, a new monster hunt. chefs today are fearless in the face of the unknown. Let's see what they can do with... Burskit! Okay. Vive la Brigade! No pressure! Right, so oh yeah, first get tail, first get meat. The uh Ow, 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 ow. Stop that. That's all watery stuff. I can work with these. We need more verse kit, though. Don't do that. There's a bit of verse kit that we're not getting doing this. Darn it. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, good, a fiery sauce. I can work with that. All right, so they eat and then they change colors. And that's when they drop their uh, brisket blood. Interesting. And that's like an in addition to drop. Cute. Even unlocked fully stocked. Interesting. Oh no! Oh well. Okay. So, uh, unfortunately, we don't have a watery, a, a uh, the fire dish here. First, get blood. I wonder how... Okay, that's a sauce. It's got the drop. Okay, interesting. We can work with that. So, let's start with the Amarok ribs, actually. Are you remembering to breathe, Mina? Nope. Oops. Right. Breathing is secondary. Corner. Bring you over here. This is going to be our, our earth or our fire dish. How do we want to do this? I'm not sure yet. I want to use uh, uh, get this verse get meat going uh, so that I can get more bones going. There we go. Now, um, should be able to put a little bit more fire in. Yeah. Notch fruit. Noki fruit? Whatever. Fantastic uh, earth dish so far. Oh, okay. A uh, little bit more water. I've got a little bit more water, right? Yeah, you. Then we can add of that first get blood there fire dish for 126 yeah let's call that good i have a limited amount of time okay so now we need a earth heavy dish which we're going to do with the verse get oh right meat first I don't have the time for this. I keep screwing up like this. Darn it, I didn't want to do that. Oh well.
I'll send some rainbow droplet. Okay, yep. These are definitely can't be used too many times in a row. It's the best I can do. Thank you for your hard. Hello, red fruit. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Oh man. I mean, all of the food looks phenomenal in this game, but. Quite delicious. My congratulations. Crispy skin, verskit served with lichen, spice, and verskit blood melange. Pure and beautifully complex. Okay. Nothing technically wrong, but it lacks heart. Oof. I could have done better. We're behind so far. Wow. Underspiced, even fire's bold taste can't cut through. Flavor's good, but I know you can improve upon it. Alright, so that's like... This is my chance to catch up, because I put the most, ex most effort into this one. Extra bonus for fire. Extra bonus for uh, theme ingredient. For the butcher thing. Yep. Woohoo! We win! <laughs> okay, this game's fun. Three up, three down. Who next? certainly are more resourceful than you appear. I underestimated you. Gee, thanks. I meant only to say that you show a lot of promise for your age. Here, take this. May it aid you in your battles ahead. Ooh, double jump. That's amazing. Why, why is there a Trello link on my screen? What? What? I think I might have accidentally run into an error with the game that wasn't intended to be displayed like that. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Uh... Okay. We've done our job everywhere. We've done everything we can. Uh, loadouts. What do we replace for a double jump? I guess the, the two knives, even though I just spent all that money on it. The double jump is just so useful, and the slowing knife lets me, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I've still got my lichen spice. Okay, so these get to be reused every time. That's interesting. I really need a better pan. You know, I could stick with using the sauces to replace the, uh, Bones. I think that that's a strategy that could work pretty well for me. Use the fire pot, sauce my way around the bones. And just crank up the number of everything that we have. River dish containing all ingredient types from your mattress theme ingredient. Um, I think I'm going to pick up another one of the expertise things. For tomorrow. Everyone's cuisines are so different here. I'm going to have to give it everything I've got to make mine stand out. I bet Kiki and Simon would know what to do. They'd have a joke ready and everything. Gee, maybe you should write to them. All right. We are going to um, restart the program just to get that uh, Trello link to go away. But this game is quite great. I think that uh, this one passes the edition and is a recommend. There we go.
We'll have to check out some of those other challenge modes and stuff. 20 bucks. Brand new. Wandering Disciple. Instructor, good morning. Uh, am I in trouble? Is that what you think just from me showing up? I'm checking in with all the contestants. I'm sorry. Well, I have three wins on my belt now. Just four more to go. I've heard. Once you've completed that, you're cleared for the Proving Tournament's ultimate feat, Robichon's Trial. Uh-oh. The three-round gauntlet against the Brigade's most talented chefs? I've been dreaming of it all my life! Maybe I should lose a couple of times just to, you know, have more days to prepare. Thinking about it just gives me chills. I believe in you. Just keep working hard, Pumpkin. I've got others to see, but good luck today. Thank you, ma'am. Pumpkin? <laughs> hey. <laughs> what the heck is up with this jelly ghost? <laughs> it's got a it's got a card stuck in its face. Uh That's weird. I like him. Oop. Hello. Aw, big softy. This is pretty story driven. I love this my work. Wow. I missed the last thing he was saying. Decide whether these pickled lava peppers are a good investment or not. I hear that. Alright, so let's uh, do puzzles and hunting to figure out new mechanics. Colby, stop fighting with your sister this instant. The kittens seem extra rowdy today. Is something going on? Oh, Kieran just gave him a new toy. She means well, but now I have to deal with the mayhem. Yeah. You might be on your own today. I've got to separate these wrestlers. Kitties are adorable. You can count on me, sir. Okay, so uh I don't know anything about the ovens. Start one in an oven immediately. Wish I had an oven for yesterday's two jug. Yeah, okay, so how do ovens work? Oh, it looks like they slowly upgrade the gems over time without you needing to do anything. Look at that. That's adorable. While that goes, we can work on this. Yay, I've got an oven. Clean out the cat hair. Just debone it first. Okay. Cutting board time. Yep. Next.
Can't add one to the other until I remove something else. But which one do we remove? I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Kill this one. Oh no, I have to kill one of these. Yeah, okay, I see. Interesting. I definitely prefer these more traditional style ones. This is just getting more complicated. Oh, I had something... Ooh, I've got a earth and fire sauce. Alright. So... I need the level 2... Water to be fire, and the level 1 um, water to be earth. And we've got... we need to back, make them the other way. Add slime eggs right here. Stir. There we go. Yeah, I think I prefer the puzzles to the, you know, actual challenges. So what's new in the shop? Saucier. Serve a dish that was sauced three times for an extra expertise bonus. I think I like that one. Serve a dish that contains the same ingredient. Serve a dish with at least one ingredient per monster. I think I like the saucier one. That one seems like it might be the easiest of the bunch. Time for more hunting. Let's see if there's more hunt mechanics. You kill all those monsters by yourself? Uh, it's kind of what she does. She's terrifying. It's not. These are just the leftovers. I've sent the rest as a gift. Uh... Oh, just hunt any, huh? Got a cave that we're in this time, huh? Hi. What's up with the weird slime thing? Okay, so the weird slime thing steals stuff away to eat, or at least just steals stuff away. That's, that's poison. Okay, poison in earth. We're gonna have to learn how to de-poison things. I imagine that's cutting board again. I don't even recognize that ingredient. Yep, things are getting more complicated. Lots of bone. Wow, that's hard to hit. Maybe impossible. What is that 
I better go to the uh, practice area, huh? Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to hit up the practice area and see what we can do this time around. Instructor, maybe you should go next door and visit Belchior. Spending time with his cats could be good for you. You want me to end up like that old fart smothered in cats? Yes. Maybe you. Everyone should end up smothered in cats. Things instead of. How dare you insult my collection? You have no idea how hard I fought to earn these trophies. I'm deeply sorry. I didn't mean to... Leave. When you return next, you had better come with more respect. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> doggy, doggy, doggy. Hey, the little guy's the best. There's a cat back home. Your kids is enough trouble. Who's a good pup? I uh, what? I'm sorry. Um, I dropped a thing. A love note written on a crescent receipt. Well, let's bring it to uh. Pontita. And did I hear you say that you'd give it all away to find the love who will stand by your side? Oh my. You have a beautiful voice. Oh god, you heard me. Thank you, recruit. Don't think I let you slack off because I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. Ooh, I like it when they're like this. Oh, that was good. Delicious. Surprisingly good. Oh, thanks. Oh, I love it. Very much appreciated. Pressure here. <laughs> wow, that one was uh that was a bit much. Pontita's been so happy today. And that's the most I've ever gotten out of Caesar. Pontita! Yes. Should I give it to her? I think they might actually be good for each other. I uh I just wanted to say thanks for this opportunity. You're welcome, Nina. Now get out of here, recruit. You've worked hard enough for today. It's not my secret to tell. Aw, that's true. You, we should find Caesar and return his uh, receipt. Hmm, guess not then. Okay, so what are we buying at the shop? Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. We can't have all three super pots if we also want a slow cooker and a cutting board. I wish we could get a better uh, basic pot. Well, here. Um, let's take a basic pot, a mm, fire, earth, or water pot. And then we're going to rely on sauces to remove bones. Or remove things? Is that what we want to do? Is that how we want to try this? It's really asking... That, that's really taking a chance. Let's just go with the basic set. Little cooker, cutting board, dull pan. Can't afford to replace the lichen spice just yet. Because I needed the cutting board. Oh, so we're going to save our money. Shall we challenge Ziggy? 
Is it? Was it Ziggy? Let's challenge uh, dude with the weird ghost. It is Ziggy. Siegfried. Nope. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we've got a double jump, we've got slowing daggers, we've got basic cookware. Let's do this. <laughs> Your funeral. I I I did. I forgot Cooper. Whoops. Welcome Fancy once outfit. again to the most invigorating exhibition of culinary excellence in all of Victusia. Yesterday we mourned with contestants who suffered their second loss and cheered those who dazzled our judges persnickety palates. Okay, so we get a bonus for using all of the parts of whatever our theme ingredient is. We need to remember to By do that for both of them. Tides of the Silian sea, the iron stomach Hello. seems unstoppable. Hi. Mina! This cryptic competitor employs a band of skeletal sous chefs. He calls himself Ziggy, the fast food fiend. Ah. Uh, who's ready to clog their arteries? I like Ziggy. this guy. Today, these okay, so we got a water and an earth. No problem. Minds of our age. The first I'm proud to present is Instructor Meridane. Wonder if they'll change up their uh, desires at some point. Chairman, you are no longer a student of mine, after all. My attention is focused solely on the techniques of these chefs. Be careful not to oversaturate today's dish with bold flavors. Doing so will bury the intoxicating crispness of water. The next judge is the famed Grand Matriarch, Asjil. With each challenge that passes, these chefs reveal more of themselves through their creations. I look forward to learning more today. Foraging for ingredients is a vital skill. So today, I ask you to scour the Skylands for a bit of earth to ground your dish. Wait, we're still in the Skylands? We're not in the mine? This okay. This Skylands delicacy used to be so rare that it was exclusively eaten by royalty. Even now, Collection requires a chef with sharp eyes and the speed of a tempest. Uh oh. Wind fruit. Okay. I don't recognize that stuff at all. Vive la brigade. Oh dear. This can't possibly end poorly, right? fruit. Is that a chest you found? Yes. Here we go. That's where you find them. Way up here, and only when the wind is blowing. Okay, so at least using a wind, uh, all of a wind fruit in each dish will be pretty darn easy to do. The bigger issue is going to be getting some decent uh, goodies out of it all. I want to get back up there to that uh, ice guy. So fiery and an earthen sauce. We can use the earthen sauce at least. Alright.
There you are. Come back. For now I need to get something going. Uh, Y for pantry. Chop things. Just two level three fire already. Ah, uh, Amarok. Hey, Mina, have you seen Jelly? What? No, why? Sometimes he likes to wander into other people's cookware and explode their creations. I'm sure it won't happen this time. I need a lot more earth than I've got going, but I've got a plan for that. Really interesting concept for a game. I'm quite enjoying it. This is a lot of fun, I feel, I find. Now, we are going to earth and sauce that. Look at that. Loving it. Ah, that was clever. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh no, I never started it! Oh no! Oh, why, 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 why? Okay, that's fine. I forgot to actually start the slow cooker. Um... Let's just toss the... Why don't we just toss the Amarok ribs in? It's fine. Just to go get some more ingredients now. First gets... You offer a lot of uh, this, so... Alright. Shop. No. Chop. Add brisket tails. Meat. Oh, crud. Uh, stir, stir. It's 
good as we're gonna get. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Half baked. Nice, Takari. Have to say about your efforts. You're welcome. Wow, that slime egg sundae garnished with Amarok ribs. Oh God, why? This is like the everybody that keeps making fish ice cream on uh, Iron Chef. The soft serve <laughs> ice cream machine is not made for fish. Captured the essence of the watery flavors without your dish becoming overly complex. Empt is good, but the execution leaves something to be desired. Keep practicing. And for mine, Amarok Hark Wonton Soup, served with windfruit and iceberg turnip assortment. That actually sounds like a decent meal. Yeah, it does. Alright, <clears throat> um, but I just didn't get a lot of points. I think in part because I didn't have enough complexity in the ingredients. And I didn't have enough time to cook. Wickle stomach and guts dripping sauce topped with scowl breasts and watery sauce assortment. Looks tasty. Sounds disgusting. Yeah. Ooh, okay. 154 for that. I may or may not come out ahead. Oh yeah. That's that's where it is. Really, it's all about getting those level 3 gems from the looks of it. All right. So another time where we squeak out a win by about 50 points. Seems no iron skillet can stand hey, up don't knock it. The iron stomach. Yeah, it's working out pretty good. I need to uh, make better use of the slow cooker next time. Especially since we're going to have to be doing three um, dish things anytime now. All right, another restroom run. This is where I entertain everyone just by going do 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 I'm thinking that what's going to end up being my biggest complaint about this game doesn't mean I don't have standards. I wear gloves. <laughs> Is that uh about this kind of magic, but I thought it was evil. No offense. It's not going to go long enough. We're not going to be able to Apparently, I've got them all wild up. They want to add a new rule just to kick me out. Like we're not going to be able to do the, the level of character building up that I want. They don't even want to put corn cuisine in their mouths. Understand their concerns. Yeah. I got a jet, but look for me if you ever want to try home cuisine. I hear you're a brave soul. Um, sure. Ziggy's a weird one. Thanks for the match. Sayonara. I'm scared to know what his food's made of. Ooh, two red sauces. Pretty nice. I should probably get some dinner, but I just want to sleep. Interesting. Huh? What's going on over there? Post competition. Actually, uh oh. It. Your family donates to Judge Meridane's Academy. She gave you a free pass on that win. If you actually knew anything about me or my family, you'd know that couldn't be farther from the truth. Okay then. Drama. Just how many of your royal family members are in the brigade? It's obvious nepotism. If you have an issue, bring it up with the tournament committee. I'm sure they'll find your accusations to be baseless. <laughs> Run away like the cheat you are. Dang, this accusations of loss. cheating. You're out of the competition. Learn to take that in stride. You can always try again another year. Why you? Wow. Mina. Got the cat claws out, haven't you? You cut my hand! Uh, I'm sorry, but you were about to hurt my friend. We need to get an officer. Can anyone help us? 
Oh, goodness. I told you something terrible was brewing in town. Uh oh. What happened here? And Mina's the one that actually committed an she assault. Just threw her dagger at me. I was aiming for your okay. skewer. It was an accident. You raised your weapon and. It looks to be only a scratch. Let's get that wrapped up. The three of you come with me. I've got a medical kit at the inn. What are you all standing around for? Move along! Now! I see. Shiv, you come from an honorable lineage as well. There's no need to throw dirt on Kieran's family. Your great-grandmother is the fabled Kiln, isn't she? Uniting the orc tribes by way of her cross-culture cuisine. She'd be ashamed of your attitude throughout this competition. Ouch. Of course. Taking Kieran's side. It seems to me that the only one who expected an easy win based on their background is you. The fact remains, contestants are not allowed to draw weapons on one another in town. It's a designated safe zone. Only in town? Wait, we can fight outside of town? with Article 7 of the Proving Tournament Rules. You are hereby expelled from the competition for two years. What? Oh, it definitely will. This is bull. As for you, Mina, even though you tried to protect Kieran, you also broke the rules. Crap. You've injured Shiv's hand. And just think if your dagger had missed and hit a townsperson. I'm sorry, Instructor. You should have gotten an officer to handle the situation. Oh no. You too must be expelled for endangering the people around you. Oh. Um. Is this the only way? That? Although I understand the seriousness of the situation, I don't think Shiv or Mina truly meant any serious harm. That's that. That throws a wrench into things. Ooh. Kieran, say your farewells to them. They're expected to leave tomorrow morning. I we just got expelled from Mina, the tournament. I'm so sorry. Listen, everything is going to work out. Don't give up. Mina? I was wondering how they were gonna squeeze six chapters out of this considering we were like cruising along. We were at four wins already in the tournament and only needed seven. <laughs> this is getting interesting. Ah, oh, crap. Now we got to do the walk of shame back home. <laughs> what, in yesterday's clothes? Well, we spent a week... I don't know if you caught this from the beginning, but we were... We left, like, a bit more than a week ago. Just ran away from home with the money that we were supposed to be paying to someone. <laughs> oh, crikey. And, uh, like, left the family, uh, restaurant to go try to try out for the Mina Iron Brigade. Needs to keep working. She has the same spirit I had at her age, including my weakness. And now, like, this, this has taken a hard right turn. Okay, so, I highly recommend this game at this point. I'm standing right here, you two. <laughs> Sorry, Mimi. I tried. Why don't you go on restocking duty? I can peel the potatoes. I'd rather peel the potatoes. I think some exercise would be good for you. Get some fresh air. Fine. All right, fine. See? Be quick about it. The restaurant is opening in just a moment. And I don't want you to use any wind magic or daggers. It's ruining the backyard. <laughs> Go wild. The only thing ruining the backyard is all the monsters piling up. What is it with parents and thinking fresh air cures depression? Us. Um, so exercise actually does, though. Right. Yeah, Let endorphins and exercise, but not just fresh air. Oh, no, no. Ingredients back here are really limited. Uh. 
trying to think of if I've ever seen the art style before. I mean, it's kind of a uh, cartoony anime type art style. Hmm. Order up two bow run noodle, one mapo tofu. <sighs> That's all you, Mina. I gotta run the tables. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, so I need you up there, and then I need earth on the sides, okay. And we need two earth and water. Wow. Thanks. This has got to be so depressing to come back to, like, this after, uh, everything she thought she was going to be a part of. I need water on two corners, and then I need fire on two corners as well. There we go. God, I'm really not good at splitting ingredients like that. Looks great. Ah, Simon's on his way with another delivery. He's late. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Han. Our farm got attacked by a bow run, and the barn almost toppled over. Pops took care of it, though. I'm glad you're both all right. Thanks. Thought I was gonna be a kebab. Hey, Mina. Got anything new for me to try today? Oh, hey. No, just the usual. Ouch. That's Mina, depressed. Why don't you help Simon move the satchels into the cellar? Let's go. Now that we're done hauling all that grain, how about a word, huh? A sound? I don't even think I've heard you sneeze since you've been back. What's there to talk about? What, what is there to talk about? Like, a million different things. Like, how come no one has bothered to mention that the guy Saskia started dating needs to chew with his mouth closed? Don't be mean. Saskia's happy. Alex is a nice guy. <laughs> but he could eat a little bit neater. Ah, oh, there you go. Hmm? Look at you using words and talking. You are alive! Barely. I'm grounded for life. I'm going to be in that kitchen cooking the same things until I die. I can forget about seeing beyond this village ever again. Forget about the brigade. Ouch. Well, mm, now never mind. What is it? You could always run away again. Next year. Oh, please. Like my mom would ever let me slip by again. Yeah, that one has to sting. I think this is it for me. <clears throat> Staying here isn't so bad, is it? You can still test your experiments on me. I don't mind. I'm the Iron Stemic, remember? Not you. I know you're upset, but there's still so much here for you. The restaurant. Your family, Sounds like she's about to face a firing squad. The windmills every morning. Well, I mean, th if this is like. The small town girl that was hoping to get away to the big city and make it big and be a part of this huge everything away from here and has been expelled from the competition for two full years and is now stuck back uh, home with parents that will never let her leave. You don't get it at all. Mm. Just because you're satisfied with being stuck here doesn't mean that I am. I gotta get back to the house. Simon was just trying to help. I shouldn't have blown up on him. It's a good village. It's a good restaurant. I've got my family and Simon. Maybe... Maybe I don't deserve to be here. I'm so sorry, everyone. Whoa. This guy heavier than I expected. should be thriving from the flow of travelers to and from the capital, but we're getting some unpleasant feedback lately. I told you, didn't I? The produce from the market has been tasting strange for a while now. You need to confront the brigadiers head on. We're paying good coin for their catches. Yeah, maybe she's only out for this one year. People are getting sick. From our food? It's hard to pinpoint, but we may be contributing to the problem. Along with some other restaurants. Who's gotten sick? Actually, I just saw Alex. 
He's running a fever, and I heard Simon isn't feeling well either. All the restaurants get their goods from the same brigadiers. There has to be something going on that we don't know about. What's going on? Are we not opening today? No, I'm afraid not. Mina, I think we need you to do some hunting for us, though. The produce we purchased just isn't holding up once it's cooked. We'll need more from the backyard to make up for it. Sure thing. I'll get right to it. Okay. Hat. There is, like, some sort of evil aura going on here, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything's got a bit of poison to it. Weird. They mentioned, uh, earlier on, something about, uh, the, this particular, the Karana, like, getting corrupted and having an evil aura to them. That's strange. Whew. That was strange. The monsters are so, I don't really know what word to use, agitated? On our walk to the market, Charles spun a tale about how he fended off a raging bow run from destroying his farm. At first, I thought he was boastful, but now I'm not so sure. Simon's dad does love to exaggerate. True, but Simon mentioned the attack yesterday. I don't think this is one of Charles's tall tales. So what's this have to do with the market's goods? I can't say for sure, but these monsters concern me. Their behavior is tumultuous at the best of times, and now they're more ferocious than ever. I wouldn't be surprised to learn they've been evolving. Yeah, the timing is definitely suspicious. Plus, we haven't noticed anything weird with the grain Simon's brought over. So, only the monster meat has changed. That's what we're thinking. Mina, you've got the sharpest senses out of all of us. Take a closer look at these ingredients for us, will you? Okay. I hate to admit it, but I've been neglecting my responsibilities these past few days. You don't need to tell us that. No offense, sleepyhead. It's okay, Mina. Get the stove going, and let's do some tests. Yeah, that's weird. What's going on here? Uh-huh. That's not okay. Oh, no. These ingredients are, like, breaking down on me. Okay, once you combine them once, though, they stop. Need a bit more... F uh, oh. Yeah, will do. Okay, so it only happens when you stir the, the ingredient. If it gets dropped into place, it doesn't cause the problem. Yeah, I see some weird strands running through this marbling. The monster parts are breaking down more and more with every stir. Hmm, it doesn't taste too different at first, but when overmixed, it begins to sour. Ew. Ew. Ugh. Okay. Those cause things to become a problem. After they're stirred twice. 
Ooh. That's what yeah. those uh, poison bits are that we haven't had to deal with before. See what happens if we stack a few up. They do not seem to come. Oh, yeah, they do. Um. What? What the heck? What was that? Okay, that's like a heal, a, a restorative. Interesting. And what about these purple spots? You see them? They're popping as we cook. Gross. We didn't actually serve this to customers, did we? No way we did. This must be from spoiling within the past day. Ugh. There's definitely a foulness to the taste now. I've never in my life seen this before. Well, you certainly seem calm. Didn't you inspect the produce before buying? Aw, pointing fingers isn't going to help anything. Something weird's going on. Pa, pa. I think we should look at what Mina brought in from the garden earlier. Hmm. They're just as bad even though they're from our backyard. Then Yikes. That might not be the Brigadier's fault. That just leaves a problem with the monsters themselves. How could this happen? All of a sudden, we're on a bigger adventure. I'm sure, but we'll <laughs> have to be extra careful from now on. When you took the right precautions, it seemed like the poison dissipated. Just a small town girl it's dealing more with poison meat. Prep ingredients, but it's time I'm willing to take to ensure our food is safe. Are we going to be able to open up again? Let's keep testing our recipes tomorrow, and then we'll see. Good work, Mina. I'm going to talk to the rest of the village leaders about our discovery. Interesting. Yeah, good work, Mimi. If there's nothing else to do here, I need to get back to Alex and make sure he's all right. Okay, Mina, you and I should keep going for a little while longer. I have a few more ideas. Interested right. in your ideas. Let's keep cooking. A letter from Thrash. I wonder if he's made it in yet. <gasps> Artie is sick. Kieran's making an antidote, and there's some place called the Dark Realm. What? And I'm at home worrying about spoiled meat and sick customers. It's kind of weird that everyone's getting sick at the same time. I wonder if this monster problem reaches farther than Windy Village. I should look at as many cuts of monster as I can tomorrow. Maybe there's some way I can help. Yeah, I noticed Cooper, but I'm just gonna ignore Dear it. Thrash. I'm going to gather some ingredients, Ma. Thank you, dear. Told you she just needed to keep working. I know my daughters. No, you don't, Lily. Sure, Ma. Sure. Not even a little. Interesting. Still trying to figure out if the things that drop are based on the way you kill them or just the uh or just pure luck. They also have something to deal with um perhaps the form of the monster. Because I've noticed that there's different drops for the uh karanas, um, depending on what form they're in. Oh yeah, definitely. If you feed something then they uh drop uh, give you different things. Don't you worky little camnable. Stop it. Like you can't get the wings out of the Karana unless you feed them first. <coughs> Pardon me. Just the uh stomach and the nectar. Curious. The doors are open. I noticed that by landing on stuff you get uh 
guess I'll have to test these different drops. The rush. I was thinking that, but I'm not certain about that. Okay, so let's see. This isn't a problem. <laughs> this is. Because if we stir too much, if we stir it three times, they break on us. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's no good. I don't have all day. I don't have enough time at all. You're gonna leave, and there's nothing I can do about it. There's no way. Where's my food? Oh, I forgot to tell you two. Finish up that Karana pancake. Oh, this smells delightful. Thank you. Dad said the other restaurants are doing better with their ingredients since we did our demonstration for them. Two century egg up. Oh, this is so good. But the pickings are slim. We need to avoid the purple swatched meats for now. People are still getting sick from it. So, looks like we'll be limited on our ingredients till we figure things out. Uh-oh. This is very focus mode. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Delicious. Fire in the corners and water on. Okay. No problem. Perfectly delicious. Fire. Like that. I just need to. Oh, nope. Couldn't do it. I'm proud Yeesh. Of you, Nina. Our menu will still have to cut down on quite a few recipes until this is sorted out, but we couldn't have reopened without you. Thanks, Ma. I'm going to keep doing more experiments tonight. Maybe I'll find out even more? We'll all stick around and help. Alex is still feeling kind of sick and doesn't want to eat very much. He's sticking to vegetables for now. Maybe you two can teach me something to serve him. Have you made him my signature dumpling soup yet? Ma, the dish is only for when we're serious, you know that. I don't know if it's because he's sick, but I'm not sure if he wants to start going steady. Ah. Uh, well, Ma. Oops. Didn't mean to skip that, but it was probably, uh, I need grandchildren. Oh, this one's from Kieran. Mina, I've only slept four and a half hours in the last five days, so forgive me for being terse. <laughs> After my work on Thrash's antidote, Belchior asked me to work with him on a new brigade assignment. They've tasked us with identifying and containing a possible monster mutation. The samples I've taken are concerning. I don't wish to engage in speculation before my tests are complete, but I think there's more going on here than they suspect. So the monsters are acting weird everywhere. A mutation, though? Isn't that just a blight? If that's true, Kieran and Thrash will need all the help they can get. I've got to tell her everything I know. Mutation. Yeah. It's I hope more this of an letter infection, doesn't come too late. But I've been seeing issues with the monsters here too. Yeah. Hey, Something's bad wrong. Mm. You're looking much better, Simon. Uh, still just on broth right now. What's the deal with the letter? It's from the brigade. Based on the findings of our top researchers. We regret to inform the populace that Victusia is facing a potentially catastrophic monster mutation event. Yep. Due to the severity of the outbreak, we're putting all able-bodied battle chefs on full alert. Uh-oh. We've isolated the problematic traits and determined that all monsters are not yet affected, but our investigation is ongoing. Our primary focus must switch to containing this outbreak. To that end, Proving tournament will be put on hold until the situation is under control. This must be the outbreak Kieran mentioned. Maybe it really is a blight? A blight? Jeez. Sounds official and Sounds bad. Serious. Listen. The contestants have all been offered the opportunity to temporarily work with the brigade in containing the situation. We'd like to request the aid of Mina Han. Oh nice! Mina's getting called back in. 
given the circumstances, we are willing to revoke the proving tournament expulsion once the festivities resume. Oh heck yeah, we're in. With your help, we hope this incident will be resolved as quickly as possible. The choice is fully yours, and we hope to hear from you soon. Stay safe and break a dish. The tournament committee. All right, Lily. I have to go back. Absolutely not. You lost that privilege the moment you ran off with our money. This is no longer about fun and games. The capital sounds way too dangerous right now, not to mention the roads. Uh, when, Lily, is going. That's exactly why I should be there. I have a chance to do something good for once in my life. Oh, me. Before I was careless. I was bored. I was only thinking about myself. I didn't earn my place in the tournament. I stole it from the people who taught me the skills I was so desperate to prove. I don't deserve anything. That's pretty hard on herself. Calm down. You two made this place with your bare hands. You gave Saskia and I opportunities we couldn't get anywhere else. Opportunities I took for granted. But now there's a way I can help you. A way I can make it up to you. By fixing the monster problem at its source. If I can find out what's going on, I can bring that knowledge back and make sure no one gets sick again. And we could keep serving customers like before. Well, I promise I'll write home this time. I'm going to be okay. I'll be in the hands of the veteran battle chefs. I'm sorry, but you're still grounded. Stealing our flower money? That's a serious crime. But I... My baby girl, how are you ever going to survive out there if you don't understand sarcasm? Ah. Uh. What? Huh? I can't keep you here any more than I can keep the wind from blowing through the trees. Kiki, what's happening right now? Your mother is letting you go. We all are. Only the brigade can stop what's happening. The best way to help the restaurant is to join them. <gasps> oh, thank you, Ma! Pa! Kiki! Thank you! Woohoo! <sighs> I mean, carry on, Han family. Don't mind me. So yeah, this is uh, almost like classic hero's journey, uh, step by step. Except, uh, you know, the refusing the call part was getting expelled and then uh, falling into depression. With a Blytex machina. Mm-hmm. And like that mechanically is going to make things harder. Multiple promotes done quickly activate magic that further enhances flavors. Great. You are who you are, Mina, and that person needs to help others. I didn't want to let you go before, but I won't make the same mistake twice. This game is fantastic. I couldn't be prouder of the woman you've become. And I couldn't be happier to be part of this family. I wasn't sure it was worth so 20 bucks I while I was in the midst of the first tournament Everyone arc. Stumbles, but uh how you get up, matters. Yeah, this is good. It's like the writing is above yourself. average. Okay. The um, characters are interesting, if fairly standard. The voice acting is top-notch. The combat feels great. I love the animations. I don't know. Definitely were Mopey Mina. Mopey Poo. Oh. I was not. Ah. Fine, maybe a little. Drink your water, Simon. You're still dehydrated. Tempest Gale. The, uh... Everything about this game is, seems really high quality. It's well done. Back to Begrade Town. This place is bustling. Hey, we brought back up this time. You can't really imagine the capital from what travelers say. You have to be here and experience it. I'll definitely be experiencing all the cuisine. Too bad about the meat, though. <laughs> Maybe your dad will finally stop telling you to put on weight. Oh, that'll be the day. I'm still surprised. She's got this uh, mental me image come. of her doing a reservoir dogs walk I'd into say your the capital. Argument was pretty clever. Nice. Especially since you made it up on the spot. 
It's silly, but your speech to your family made me feel like it was time to try something new. Look at you getting all mushy. Yeah, well, you can pay me back with a restaurant tour. Deal. But first, we should check out the inn, and then I need to find Thrash and Kieran. Oh, young lad, and you brought a friend. How nice. I was so sad to see you go. You were one of my most pleasant customers. Still annoyed that we paid Just 20 up front. You young lad. You get used to it, Simon. I'm holding my breath for the day he realizes. I have your rooms all ready. Let me take your bags with you. Okay. There's something I haven't told you. Just the one thing? You chew on your pillow at night. Everyone knows that, Nina. <clears throat> what? No, that's not even true. Did Kiki tell you that? Never mind. Anyway, you can't tell anyone this. Thrash, Kieran, and I have been looking into the monster epidemic. Now that I'm back, we're going to try to find the cause. Do you want to help? Nah. You're not even going to think about it? Nina, you have always had these grand ambitions. Me, though, I just want to grow the family business and go back to a peaceful life of talking to weed stalks. Ah, I like Simon. I guess I knew that, but I wish we could tag team this. I know. Just make sure you're back before dinner. I want to try that Crescent place. <sighs> this guy thinks we're on vacation. For him, it is a vacation. <laughs> Off to the practice uh, kitchen. Mina, it's wonderful to see you. Kieran, Thrash! I missed you guys so much. We missed you too. Now, down to business. We don't have time to go into detail, but Thrash and I have been through a lot since you've been gone. Too much for my taste. The bandits, the antidote, the dark realm. It sounds terrifying. Trust me, it's as bad as it sounds. The positive side is that we've garnered new insights on this mutation. Causation is still unclear, but the monsters and Ardia's sickness seem to be correlated. I think we could be on the verge of a full-scale blight. Not the only one. How did you figure it out? That was all you, Blue Jay. We got your letters, and Kieran ran some tests. Sure enough, the blood she took from Ardia had similar properties to the mutated monsters. Precisely which could mean that a modified version of her antidote might cure the monsters themselves. Ooh, I like the sound of that. You're a genius! That remains to be seen. <laughs> the cure is purely speculative at this stage. So, what's our next move? I think we should report to our stations and see what the brigade needs from us. We don't have anything concrete to show them yet, but we can get more samples... Wait for the backstab. Agreed. It's our wisest course of action. What do you think, Mina? I'm with you all the way. All right, we should get going then. Let's meet up again when we have more info. Yeah, I'm waiting for the next big twist because the game definitely caught me by surprise with the tournament expulsion and the blight things. Good morning, lad. Oops. <laughs> What's a little orc lad like you going to do? <laughs> uh, that was worth going back through. Hello there. Kind of scared to eat, yeah? I get that. Just berries. Wow. Oh, no Louis and Louis. Hi, Hello. flower seller who looks suspiciously familiar. Nothing to do but go to the briefing. All right, so we're going to see this day through to the end, and then we're probably going to be wrapping up. Thank you for coming on such short notice. Your loyalty to the brigade and to the two has been noted. Despite the public's concern, music's a little loud compared to the voice for this segment. We'll be able to resume the moving tournament soon. Not once in a hundred years has the tournament been canceled. I won't be the first.
as chairman to let that happen. Here to explain your mission and provide more information for the outbreak is Instructor Rasmussen. Instructor, if you would. Looks like even Shiv got a call back. Yay! You have to be kidding me. Oh. Oh, hey, Shiv. I... Save it. Don't think you're important enough to hold a grudge about. Wow, I dislike you. I'm here to get back in and take everyone down. Every last one. You mean in terms of the tournament, right? These new poisonous and moldy ingredients are wow. perfection. Ouch. <laughs> Great. She's psychotic. Not serious, Art. All right, C Squad babies, listen up. The sorry lot of you make up every person that was kicked out of the tournament for one reason or another. Ouch. The committee's decided to let you back in, but you'll have to earn it. Mm, I'm ready. This time, nothing's going to stop me. Don't worry, committee. I won't let you down. I love Wart already. If I just couldn't contain myself. <clears throat> we'll run this mission just like a tournament march. I'll pair you one on one for kebabs. <laughs> of course, because you know Every we've got a game. Must contain at least one ingredient from a mutated monster. That's our theme for the day. You'll each have to make three dishes. <laughs> one Should have seen me, this coming. <laughs> one for Belchior, and one for Kraus. Actually, there was a change to the briefing. Uh oh. I'm, I'm still getting over a little bug. Mm. All right, make that two dishes. <laughs> nice. All right, well, we're going to change out our dull pan for our combo pan. Match three with a combo bonus. Uh, we're going to keep the cutting board in this. Mm, do we keep the slow cooker? Yeah, we keep the slow cooker. Um, Two red sauces. Probably better off. Every dish conceding all ingredient types from your matches theme. But the matches theme is just, well, that didn't work last time when there was only one theme uh, the ingredient. We'll replace it. I still like the cold daggers. The extra satchel slot isn't saving us that much time. But none of the others are all that good either. Eh, two daggers at once. Let's try that and see what happens. I'd love to see an emphasis on fire energy for these tests. It would really help my research. And make that a water dish for me. Preferably one that'll fix this headache. Ah, uh, Thorn's always got a headache because Thorn's always hungover. I want a water dish, so that's in the oop. Damage yep. That's why I'm taking some time to gather ingredients and let health regen. Ooh. Crud. These are 
showing the poison ingredient, though. Do you eat ever? No? Okay. You're fine. Yeah, there's no... Oh, here we go. These Taka Berries. Spicy ketchup on that. Alright, sauces do not change the fact that things are cracked. Note to self. You wanted a water dish. Got plenty of nectar to work with. Start with that as a base. Combo uh, is combo pan is interesting. That's for sure. Yeah, don't quite know what I'm doing with this combo pan yet. Go get more ingredients. I did not do enough ingredient gathering before we started. It's fine, we still got a whole sort of four minutes. Yeah. might have an idea of what the combo pan is doing. Yeah? If you notice, um, after you um, start making combos, um, the number of stars that you're getting is starting to go up. So I think with each combo, for a times two combo, you get double the stars for each match you make. Times three, triple the stars, and so on and so forth. That's cool. Darn it. Get back here, you. Ah. Can't sauce bones. Check.
I'm a little worried that I'm not doing enough here, but I mean, I've got two decent dishes. I'm gonna I'm gonna serve them and see what happens. I could cut the bone out, but I don't think I needed to. Thank you, Morphe, for the host. It is, well, the auto host, anyway. Thank, it's very much appreciated. Yay, auto hosting. Got all of it. What do we have here with yes, I'm to dissect these? Dishes. Sadly, we're just about to wrap up ourselves, but that's okay. We'll also auto host off to someone. Apparently, auto hosting doesn't cause the big uh, pop up. A true master work. Dragon steak, basket, chole kebabs. That? Oh! Um, you left some poison in there. Such skill! <laughs> Alright, so the bone doesn't cause problems. Poison yes, does. Good. Yeah, you need to not, you know, um, poison people. That's not okay, Shiv. I approve. I got to do better about getting more stuff but more time gathering uh ingredients Nina, i hate to contradict but i believe it's hard ah hmm. her name is smudged on the roster Pond, eh? yeah. another slight victory but that's okay as well as you didn't lose to shiv yeah right while she was po the only reason I won though is because she was tra poisoning people. You know, except the poison. We might see some effects on the body in years to come, but hey, as a country, we've been eating monster for a century now. It's the way of the brigade. Wow. All right, head back to town. For the half of you that lost, don't fret. We'll be back at it tomorrow. You may have won this cute little game of theirs, but I'm saving my best for when the real cooking starts. Jeez, you're bitter. I wouldn't expect any less. So it's true. I wise. They did make a C squad, and it's filled with the bottom of the barrel. You're still a jerk. I have no idea. Ha ha ha! I don't even remember you. I'll never forget. What? Because I cut in front of you? When you cut me in line during registration. I. Wow. Oh, that. I think I remember now. I had a 37 point lead, Cooper, which is uh, slightly less than uh, the 40 point I told you for the I'd poison. Watching. I knew Karma would bite you back, and then you got kicked out fighting that sore loser over there. The brigade may show you mercy, but I'm not going to be so lax. Wow, why? You, you need a life. I've got to get back to B Squad. I have an important mission to carry out. But I just had to see what the stink was all about. <laughs> wow. Anyways, I gotta go. Later, Girl Scout. What? I guess I've made some enemies, too. Mostly friends, though. Those two are just, you know, terrible people. <laughs> History shall judge them accordingly. All right, folks. That's going to be all the time that I have for. We have uh, gone half an hour over time already. <laughs> Come on, we're quiet, supposed to be wrapping up. I'm supposed to be I done. I'd see brigade town so empty. <laughs> hey, look, it's Ziggy. Sorry for the fright. I'd just like to make an entrance. You don't look very sorry. I thought you were a monster. What are you doing out here? You're not a part of C-Squad. Just checking on something that couldn't wait till morning. What's your excuse? <laughs> I actually volunteered for this shift. I want to do everything I can to find the cause of this monster mutation. Yeah, so the storyline's pretty great. But yeah, we're going to be wrapping up here. Um, this is definitely a recommend a out of our auditions. Two night owls like us. I think 
we can learn a lot from each other. This game is currently available for $20 on at least uh, PC via Steam and the Nintendo Switch. I don't know where else it's shown up. I think this would be a fantastic game to pick up on the Switch. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me, folks. I'll be back tomorrow, 1 p.m. I think we're doing Minecraft tomorrow, but we'll see. Depends on how I feel that day. Let me just set something up here. And we'll catch you later. See you next time.